Trials and Tribulations of Love and Loss in Every Form by Reject of Society Spider-Man didn't lock himself away anymore. He wasn't a secret to be kept hidden, or an obstacle he feared someone would trip over. He was free. He swung through the crisp, frigid December air, with his stomach falling in sync with his body then rising and filling with excitable butterflies as he launched himself into the air again. A smile splits across his face as the wind whistles past him, and his heart flutters like he's in love as he does a flip mid-air. Just because he can. He has both hands free. He's not holding back two lives and desperately trying to stop them from touching anymore. Through the trials and tribulations of love and loss in every form, he's learning. He's learning that Peter Parker and Spider-Man don't have to be kept at arm's length at each other. They can flow in and out and around each other with ease and peace of a mountain stream. It's still rocky and has its rapids as of right now, but the point is, he's getting there. He's beginning to tame and understand the flow of these two lives as they merge into one. His body is free. When the world discovered who Peter was, he had been demoted from human to spectacle. Even trying to go to school, he was mobbed and stared at with cameras following his every move, like he was some animal at the zoo. Every second he spent living like that was part of an anxiety attack he felt would never end. Most non-stop, he felt himself biting back tears of humility as his name was spat at him like an insult. And yes, there's people who still hate Spider-Man. But that's the beautiful thing. He can go home, take off the mask, and no one hates Peter Parker. His time is free. He has no one to lose, which is such a bitter sweetness to it. He can take care of New York without worrying about anyone he loves being endangered by it. So he spends more time in the suit swinging through the streets to stop robberies or help a man who's fallen off his bike, or whatever the people need to make their lives just that much easier. He's learning his place in the city of Queens and focusing on what his mission has always been. Helping out the little guy. He's not at peace. Not yet. He's far from it. Sometimes his heart races and he finds himself in tears at certain sights or sounds. Often, He cries at night for what he's lost, and yearns for what could have been. Yet, he tells himself it's okay, because he's finally done something right. He's been selfless, and was punished for it, but... It's alright if he's punished if it means everyone else is rewarded with a few more years to live. It's all part of the job, even when it feels unfair. It's okay if he cries and his moments of panic or crippling loss. He's still just begun healing. And that means he's also just begun learning. He has time, so he'll use it well. Swinging through the city, helping out the little guys, and learning how to be alone. Mm-hmm.